Well, I thought I would stare a little bit more at my shadow box project and thought maybe y'all might like to stare with me. <laughs> See what happens? I'm really liking it so far. Uh, a couple people asked what my plan is for the top here. I don't know. I don't have a plan. Am I going to put another piece of painted cardboard on there? Maybe. Am I going to do something different? Maybe. You know what I'm thinking of putting is some kind of a, I don't know, a handle or something to hang it. I don't know. In here, okay, I have literally a ton of these little glass bottles like this. And look how they fit just perfect into these corners. And then I can glue this onto them. So that it fits level, you know, this way, perfectly level, and it's up off of the background so that I can uh, put stuff on the bottom here and then build outward if I want to. And then I can still put, you know, a little something on the outside edges or whatever. But I'm really liking this. In fact, I might just go ahead and glue the bottles to this thing so that I can easily set it down in there, take it out. Ooh, wouldn't it be cool if I had some, some kind of little hardware uh, clips or something to, you know, that you, like, like in a picture frame that you screw in there and I don't think I have any of those. Okay, I didn't find any of those, but here's what I did find. A hinge. And I have some other hinges, some old rusty ones that I glanced at when I was looking through the rusty stuff, but they didn't really jump out at me, but now that I'm seeing this one, what would that look like? Of course, I can distress this so that it blends, but what if we put a hinge on it so that it could open? I have two. I can put two. Oh, I'm liking that idea. I could put two hinges here. Then, and then I don't know, we probably wouldn't need those bottles if I use the hinges. Okay, and then I found these. See, this is the stuff you find on the clearance rack and you buy it and you don't know why and then something like this comes up and you're like, oh, <laughs> that's why I bought it. Okay, and then this is one of those, uh, how does this go? It goes like that. Oh, that. So this could be the little closure thing. See like that? And then, you know, you lift that up and it opens because the hinges will be, oh y'all, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. I'm excited. Uh, I'm not going to do too much distressing on the metal until after I get it on there. Well. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Let's bring out let's bring out the tools. We're gonna need power tools. Here's what we're gonna do. Let me grab my dremel. I'm desperately in need of some new attachments, some little sander deals and stuff. But I think I've got enough to do this. You have to be really careful when using your Dremel with these kinds of things because they're made out of just really cheesy pot metal. You can break them with your hands, seriously. Just snap it in two. It's not sturdy metal, so you just want to be careful. Oh, 
Okay, I think those are adequately roughed up. If I had my smaller sanding drum, that would work better, but I'm out of full sanders for it, so I have to use that one. But that's fine. I don't need to take all the finish off. I'm just wanting to grunge it up, and this removes some of the shiny gold off of it and also gives it a little bit of tooth so that it'll hold whatever I decide to put on it next. I don't know what that is. <laughs> But, I'm going to figure it out. I don't want to lose my little screws. Okay. Uh, what can I do? What can I do? I wonder what would happen if... <laughs> uh, yeah. It's kind of scary when things start out like that. Huh. I wonder what this will do. Glimmer mist. Is it going to stick to this metal? Maybe if I heat it on there, will it stick? Let's see. I'm beating up. That's okay. It doesn't mean anything. Okay. Oh, that's a good start. Alright, what else can we throw on there? Maybe a different color. I need a different formula, but I don't think I have anything in another formula that is the color that I want. French lime. Oh, that's a little neon. Craft. See, the right paint to use on here would be the high impact paints, but all I have is a purple and a yellow. <laughs> That's not really what I want. I'm curious to see what this um, Glimmer Glaze will do. Well, it just looks like someone was murdered <laughs> with these pieces. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Um, how about stained glass? Uh, olive color. Red and green make brown, sort of, right? They make Blech. which, you know, would be okay for this situation. I could put alcohol inks on here, but I am playing with the um, Canvas Court brand's products, so I'm kind of wanting to use as much of those as I can. That looks really cool. That's really grungy and icky, and I'm liking that. What would happen if I mixed a little orange high impact paint? High impact paint, you can paint on everything. It'll go on metal or, you know, whatever. Let's mix that with what? Tattered leather, right? Yeah. Tattered leather. This might totally mess up the uh, its ability to stick to metal. I don't know, but we're going to find out. Ooh, that looks good. Loving it. black. I'm going to use some of this lamp, which is an ebony black colored Americana craft paint from DecoArt. 
Okay, here's what I want to do to these. I want to color the edges because I don't want them to stand out. What the heck is that? Have I been painting the wrong side this whole time? I have. <laughs> Seriously, I've been painting the wrong side this whole time. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Why don't y'all tell me? Now that I've worked so hard to get the shine off of that, I'm going to put a little bit back on. Because <laughs> I'm just crazy like that. It's not so much the shine that bothered me. I just like the... Oh, okay. The, uh of the shine. I don't like that bright bright gold like that. This is some Inca Gold and the color is called Old Silver. Put it on the back to see. Oh yeah, that's what I want. I think since I've got so many layers of paint that's really not meant for metal, I'm going to put a sealer over that. This might be a good time to try out Americana Dura Clear Matte Varnish from the Deco Arts Company. Okay, I think my pieces are dry now and ready to go on. And here's what I'm going to do, since <laughs> I have extremely limited carpentry skills. <laughs> I'm going to put the hinge on the frame, the window part first, and then on here. Because once you put it here, if it doesn't fit here, it's, it's I don't know, it's harder. This I can, I can adjust a little bit, is what I'm saying. Because see, it, it's kind of loose in there. So I'm going to attach these here first, and then here. And what I did was just lay these down and used a white gel pen to mark the holes. And now I'm going to drill a little pilot hole in those holes because look how close it is to the edge. Yeah, I think I might be just asking for that wood to split. But we'll see. Okay, I had to switch to plan B. I don't have a collar small enough for this little tea tiny bit that I want to use. This one. And uh, I'm afraid if I use a bigger bit, it's going to split the wood because this is already so close to the edge. And this one may even split it. So I've got this tiny little, not a Dremel, but a, you know, Dremel type tool. Probably came from Harbor Freight. Probably paid 10 bucks for it. It's not very powerful. I don't know if it's going to work. But here's hoping. If not, I have putty. I will spackle it. We'll do it again. You know, not a big deal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill the center holes first on each one and then kind of position them in the box to make sure that the hinge is going to work properly and then I'll drill the other two holes and secure it down. That's the plan. not very powerful, right? <laughs> we got through. We did not split the wood. <laughs> Alright. Now, get my hinges. I've got a little screwdriver. Get my little screws. And see how we looking. Now, get my little box here. Let's see if I secure that down just like that. Loosen my little hinges. I painted them 
shut or open. Okay. Yes, that is going to work. Okay, so I'm going to take my gel pen. I'm going to mark my other holes right where they need to be. I'm going to put these back in so that my little thing will stay level at least on this end. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to drill the rest of these holes and screw these in and then I'll be back. Alrighty. Got my hinges on and look they work. Yay! Okay, now I'm going to put this on. And this one I have to make sure I get it right. Okay. <clears throat> Perfection. Oh, I love it when things actually work out the way I saw them in my head. Okay, now we have a little latch like that that opens a little thing like that. <laughs> I still don't know what we're going to put inside. <laughs> but we have a very nice something to put it in. <laughs> Alright, that's all for this installment. The end.